So recently, there has been some speculation that Xbox may be going multi-platform with games like Sea of Thieves and Hi-Fi Rush. And this has caused a lot of debate, and I think we need to talk about it. A lot of people seem to be jumping on this as the death of Xbox. Now remember, for now, these are just rumors. I'm not advocating for or against, but let's consider what it could mean for Xbox if it were true. If you're familiar with my channel, you'll know my console of choice is Xbox. However, my love of gaming extends beyond any one console, as evidenced by my day one purchase of the PS5 and the Nintendo Switch. Now we're discussing this as if it's a sudden shift, but in reality, Xbox has been embracing multi-platform for years. They released games on PC the same day as on Xbox, offered Game Pass for both platforms, and even have an Xbox app on PC. And consider Minecraft, an Xbox published game available on multiple platforms, including the PS5 with its recent Minecraft Legends release. This fear around Xbox going multi-platform is based on a misconception. It's already happening, and it benefits gamers and the industry. Now, what do you lose by a game being available on another platform? Absolutely nothing. You lose nothing and have everything to gain by your game being available to more people. If Xbox sells a game on PlayStation, where does that money go? back to Xbox to support development of other games. If a free-to-play Xbox game is on PlayStation and can sell cosmetics on those platforms, well, the biggest one is you get more players. But again, the money for those cosmetics goes back to Xbox to support further development of that game. For those concerned about their investment in the Xbox ecosystem by buying the console, you're still getting all of the games. And you might be getting them as part of the Game Pass subscription, which is a significant benefit. You don't have to pay for the price of the game if you have that subscription. There just isn't any downsides as gamers. But then, if Xbox puts all of their games on other platforms, why would they put out the Xbox hardware? But here's the thing. They don't make money on the hardware. While the numbers are often not public, it is well known that these companies sell their hardware at a loss, hoping to make the money on software sales. Xbox is clearly an ecosystem, and they have been very clear about this with supporting PC. What Xbox cares about is that people are playing Xbox games regardless of what platform, whether it is through xCloud on TVs or phones, on Xbox hardware, a PC, or even a PlayStation 5. Xbox is still getting that money and users. I find it odd that we're holding Xbox, the game publisher, to a standard that we don't hold most other publishers to. Take EA or Ubisoft. They clearly have a brand associated with them, and yet we don't make any assumptions about where a game will be released. Both of them even have their own stores, and they're not exclusive to their stores. We just take it as that's how you run a game publisher. We should be viewing Xbox the same way. A game publisher that just so happens to have their own hardware that is one of many ways to access their games. Regarding consistency, Xbox has been relatively stable. Just like EA and Ubisoft, we can expect consistency within an IP, as we see with Minecraft. It's yet to be seen if this will apply to other IPs, but that's a reasonable expectation. And just to clear it up, Xbox does have a strategy, and that strategy is their ecosystem that the Xbox hardware is just one part of, and they have been very clear about that. Earlier I said that a lot of people seem to be jumping on this as the death of Xbox, and this is primarily focused by those entrenched in the console wars. This is a narrative that is driven by gaming sites and other media, by those that stand to benefit from this infighting of gamers by getting clicks on videos. But as gamers, shouldn't our focus be the games, the power of the platforms and our preferred input methods? The hardware or OS should be secondary. These consoles are so similar that fighting over them seems pointless. In conclusion, Xbox potential move to a multi-platform isn't a threat, but an opportunity. It could bring a more inclusive and enjoyable gaming ecosystem away from the divisive console wars. This shift allows us to focus on what truly matters, the games and the fun they bring. Are you excited or nervous about the idea of Xbox going multi-platform? Let me know in the comments. Personally, I'm excited about Xbox's future and I look forward to discussing this more. And if you like this video, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.